right guys, we're just gonna get the messages today for Pisces. We're gonna do this a little bit different. We're going to get spirit guided messages for what's going on with Pisces. Thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I appreciate your guys' support. If you need anything, check out the description box. The second channel's on there. I've got um, social media on there. There's all kinds of things down there, guys. If you need anything, my email is down there as well. All right, what do we got? Where is Pisces at in the current moment? So current moment, you're having a lot of anxiety, worry. You could also be having a lot of fears as well. I feel like you're feeling very bound to your situation, your current moment, what you're going through. Very interesting. Pisces, a lot of you guys could, yeah, and it could have to do with money, stability, a foundation. I was about to say, I feel like a lot of you guys could actually be losing a lot of sleep at this time. And it could definitely have to do with money. Interesting. Okay, what does Pisces need to focus on? Give us what Pisces needs to focus on. So there's a choice, Pisces, that you're needing to make. And again, it's interesting how both of these have their eyes covered. So feeling like you can't make a choice, a decision, feeling bound by your current reality, the things that you're going through. But I feel like what they're wanting you to focus on, Pisces, is the things that you're not taking action on, the choices you're not making. Let's get a clarifier for this two of swords. What is Pisces needing to focus on to get out of this headspace? Yeah, the fool. <clears throat> so there's a leap that you're needing to take, Pisces. Whether, I feel like a lot of you, this could be money, finances, a stability. So I'm getting a few things. You guys could be wanting to move, starting a new job. There's a decision here that you're needing to make that could actually bring in some money is really what I'm getting. So there could be something that you're needing to sell, maybe getting rid of a vehicle to start off fresh, selling one house to go into something different, moving from an apartment to something different, switching jobs. You're needing to take a leap. You're needing to take that action. Quit holding yourself back. Because I have the two of pinnacles on the bottom. So again, that's that back and forth energy. Holding, I get that you're holding yourself back, Pisces. Where's, okay, so let's look at the past. What's going on in the past for Pisces? Okay, now the wands, taking some sort of quick action. Yeah, and again, I'm getting energy that could have to do with work. You took some sort of quick action in the past. And I feel like whatever it is, Pisces, you're going to see the benefits from it if you already have it you're gonna see i feel like things are growing they're wanting you to continue in that direction use your intuition on where you're needing to put your energy use your intuition on this choice that you're needing to make because there's a leap you're needing to take and again i'm getting the energy that not only could you be holding yourself back but other people could be holding you back from this abundant new beginning Pisces, <clears throat> I feel like you maybe don't see the full potential of the opportunity or whatever it is coming to you, so it's harder for you to take a leap, but I do feel like whatever you've done in the past where you took some sort of passionate action, you're, you have seen or you're going to see benefits from that. Yeah, so your focus right now, Pisces, something that you're good at, something that I feel like you're needing to focus on is moving forward, taking that action and moving you forward. The things that you've been holding yourself back from, those decisions, those choices, those paths, you need to quit holding yourself back. You're needing to make those hard choices and, and keep going. Let's look at the near future. Very interesting. Yeah, Empress Energy, attracting a lot of abundance, being very stable, grounded, nurturing. And it's interesting how she's looking at the fool, looking at the risk. Yeah, but being very logical on how you're needing to move forward. 
Because I also feel like, Pisces, you're attracting some sort of abundance coming into you as well. And there's a need for you to get yourself out of this energy, again, where you're holding yourself back from making choices you know you need to make. Because I feel like you maybe don't see everything in your future. You feel like there could be some things hidden, some things that you don't know. But I get with this energy that you're not going to know everything. You're going to have to trust yourself, trust your intuition, and take that leap. Because it is going to bring you an abundance. And I feel like it's going to grow. Not only you, but an abundance is going to grow. <clears throat> Interesting. So, advice. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's time for you to drop some burdens you've been carrying, Pisces. I feel like you've had a lot on your shoulders, a lot on your plate. There's been things that you know you've been needing to drop that you've not dropped. Choices you've been needing to make. Decisions you've been needing to make. You felt very in the dark. Like you don't know what you need to do. But you're needing to take action. You're needing to move forward and make those hard choices. And drop those burdens. Because you're very overwhelmed, very overwhelmed, Pisces, yeah. And I feel like that could be just based on your own self-love. <clears throat> They're wanting you to release things that no longer serve you. Go towards something new, something fresh, Pisces. Interesting. What does Pisces need to know? What is something Pisces is needing to know in this reading? What is something Pisces is needing to know? That Again, there will be a choice you're going to have to make. It could be bad news. You could have to speak some sort of truth. For some of you, this could be a redirecting energy. But I feel like you're going to what you deserve. Something that is going to, again, fulfill you in some sense, form, or fashion. Something that you've asked for. Something... But you ha you're having to practice some sort of self-love to make this choice. To make this choice in your favor. To release all those things that are holding you back. That are burdening, burd burdening you. Pisces, I do get for some of you, this is a person. You've got someone in your environment that's trying to hold you back. Trying to get you to not go in a direction because they feel like it's not going to benefit them. Or you're going to leave them behind. For some of you, it could be a mother. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Not, necessar not necessarily. It could be a Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So let's get your hopes and fears. Because I do get the sense that you hope you can balance things out. But there's also a fear that when you balance things out, I mean, things are going to change. Yeah, see, and that's what I'm getting with the devil. There could be some sort of toxic energy around you. And I feel like you could be cutting it off, Pisces. This could be, for some of you, an ex-spouse, ex-baby mama, baby daddy. Someone here has some hidden motives. And I feel like, again, that's your hope and your fear. So, I feel like you're picking up on these vibes. You're wanting to bring balance into your environment. You're trying to let some things go. That's your hope. But with that comes that fear. Because you know that this person is very dramatic. I get very toxic. And I feel like they see you manifesting something and they're wanting a piece of the cake. It's like you've got their attention now. This person has very sneaky motives. Very sneaky motives. Again, I'm getting the energy that you hope to be able to move forward. But that's also a fear because I feel like, again, you're not wanting to let some things go. Or it's hard to let some of these things go. But I feel like it's time for you to let this go. It's time for you to take that leap and make those choices that are hard to make because things are going to balance out in your favor. Yeah, death on the bottom, a lot of change and transformation. So give us the future for Pisces. Oh, my goodness. Seven of Wands, again, that's the energy that just popped out. And that's what I'm getting. You're going to be taking some sort of action, Pisces, against some sort of toxic energy or someone who's feeling very bound. This person, I feel like, can drain you as well. You're having a very guarded energy and you're taking some sort of action you know you need to take. You're bringing change and transformation in this connection. And I get that it's long overdue for a lot of you. That it's been time for you to change and transform this connection. You just really didn't want to... I feel like let it go. 
any cards for this? I don't, let's do the career universe. What do we have for just general cards? Because I don't want to put this in love. This could be anything. This could be a boss. This could be a family member. This could be a coworker, a client, a family member, a friend. I mean, it can be anything. Again, I'm just getting the energy that you're going towards something, something that I feel like you've manifested. You're needing to take leaps because a lot of your hard work is paying off. And there's an energy here, Pisces, where you are abundant on your own. You have everything that you need. But there's a lacking energy here where I feel like someone's trying to be very logical on how they approach you. But this person has some sort of toxic tendency, way of way of thinking. They're toxic. For some of you, I do feel like you could be dealing with a narcissist. If that's your story, I feel like you do know that this person is that way. And again, taking action. Having a lot of self-love and taking that, that action. I get a little bit of defensive as well, like passionate action of being like, no. You won't listen. Let me show you what I need to do then. I do get for some of you, you could be blocking this person or you could be quitting a job last minute against some sort of toxic energy, bringing change and transformation in a last minute effort and just, I get ditching, realizing, yeah, someone in your environment's jealous of you. And that's what I'm getting. You're going to stand up against this energy. You're going to defend yourself and you're going to bring change and transformation. I get you're going to make the connection the way that you want to make it. Because for some of you, I feel like this is going to affect, if you continue to let it into your environment, this abundance that's coming to you with that Ace of Pentacles. You're going to have some sort of stability, some sort of new financial security coming in, I feel. And this person's going to be able to affect it if you don't take action. I feel like for some of you, somebody could also be jealous that you do have everything that you need when it comes to work. Um, I get a little bit of energy that you've always had what I wanted or you're going towards something of that sort and it really bothers this person because you're taking action that I feel like they never took. That's going to be for some of you. Now, if that's the case, I feel like it's going to be like an aunt, a friend. It's going to be something where it's like you tried to get them to do something or they didn't follow in their childhood what they wanted to do. So like your parents trying to live through you. That's only going to be for some of you. I do see strong energy of like a dad doing that. That's going to be for some of you, okay? What do we got? <clears throat> what do we got for general messages? I feel like this person also tries to keep tabs on you. And for some of you guys, I do get the energy this person tries to snoop. Yeah, the grass is greener. That's what I'm getting. You're going to cut this person off or put a very firm boundary with this person and you're going to realize how big of a difference it makes. You're going through some sort of spiritual growth. It's time for you to be happy and successful. Someone in your environment is jealous of you. And I feel like you can pick up on this because you are empathic. So you can pick up on the energy that this person is throwing at you. And Pisces, i just seen like um, paintballs hitting a wall. And it was like at one point you were like, okay, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to say nothing. But I do feel like something has happened. It's like you can't take much, take much more with this person, this energy, whatever this is. If this is a job, if this is a car, it's like one more time this car tears down. For some of you, you could have a lemon car. I'm going to snap. And then it does it. And you're just like, you know what? I'm pushing it off a cliff. That's kind of what I get. Like, I just have to, I, I can't do this no more. There's a need for, or an energy here, Pisces, where they're wanting you to go to the water. I feel like they're wanting you to clear your energy, try to release this, because I do feel like it's been very heavy on you. Yeah, look, say yes to change. Because again, I feel like it's very hard for you to put this change, this boundary. It's hard for you to quit this job. It's hard for you to do whatever this is for you, Pisces. But there's a need for you to do it because all the growth that you're going to have from this experience is going to make you so much better and you're going to be t able to take action on that growth and bring more abundance to you. It's like you're going to be able to harness that energy and put it towards something in your future that's going to blossom again. Anything else? 
There's a need as well, Pisces, for you to trust the process. Trust what's happening. I'm getting, um, like, tingling in my stomach. And I feel like it's it's a very uncomfortable situation. That's kind of what I get. Like, I don't want to do this. But you see everything clearly. You see what this person brings to the table if this is a person. What this job. You see everything for what it is. You're understanding how this person is. Why this job's not working. Why you're needing to release something. Why... It's like a ticking time bomb in your hand. It's like the longer you hold on to it, the more you're realizing that if you continue to hold on to it, you're going to blow your whole, your whole arm off. Like, why am I holding on to this? I'm getting Ace of Swords, an aha moment. You're getting clarity. You're seeing truths that you needed to see to make your future better, to make those next steps easier for you. And I do feel like for some of you, it's leaving some people behind, seeing the people that can go and the people that you're needing to leave. Yeah. And again, I'm getting energy that this is outside of your comfort zone for whatever this is. But Pisces, with the will of the year, again, like I said, you taking action, you taking control, it's going to turn things in your favor. You're going to see how maybe your money starts growing maybe your blessings start growing it's something here where something's been blocking something for you and yeah your future is things balancing out for you i see a lot of passion in your future as well you're needing to have strength though to make a choice to quit holding on to something that no longer serves you yeah to let go of something or someone who's constantly bringing some sort of backstabbing or portrayal energy. Some sort of conflict. Pisces, and I feel like if this resonates with you, you're reflecting on that energy. You're reflecting on how you're holding on to something that's only bringing an energy of backstabbing, portrayal, toxic. Feeling like it's one thing after another. Feeling like you have to be very careful what you give this person, this job, whatever it is for you. Because if you're not, they'll take you for everything that you're worth. Everything that you'll, you'll have. But again, I do feel for some of you, like if this is a relationship, a job, you've put in a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of time with this person, this job. And I feel that you hate to see that go. Yeah, look what I just pulled. Three of Swords energy. There's going to be a heartbreaking energy. Heartbroken energy of having to release something. Because I feel like you didn't see your future being this. You've seen your future being something different. And you're realizing that that future is not going to be your reality. That sometimes the things that we have in our mind that we want. We're holding ourselves back from something so much better. And although we might not see that right now, in a few years down the road, we will say, okay, the reason I didn't get that job is because this job is so much better. This pay is so much better. I found out that so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so works there, and they're toxic as hell. Again, hindsight's twenty twenty. But releasing this Pisces is bringing an energy of being heartbroken and disappointed. I feel like for some of you, you feel that you were, you were set up for failure from the beginning. It's like one thing after another after another. It's been it's been hard. There's been challenging times. And as soon as you think something's going to work out, there's some sort of backstabbing, betrayal, conflict, people not being on the same page, you being very disappointed about what's happened. Someone, I feel like somebody could be not respecting you in some sense, form, or fashion for some of you. But it's a time for you to let that go, Pisces. Time for you to let that go. And I feel like whatever this is for some of you, I feel like it could have really just tore up your emotions. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing cool off your emotions in my third eye, so I feel like it could have definitely... I get it's hard to deal with. That's that toxic energy, though. But there's an energy here, Pisces, where there's some sort of action you're feeling you're needing to take. We're going to call that inspired action. You're feeling inspired to release something, to let something go, to set a more firm boundary with something for a reason. And I'm seeing 555 five, five in my third eye. So this is going to be hard change. But with hard change comes beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blessings. 
Yeah. And I feel like, Pisces, this is your reality check. This is something you're needing to see to bring in balance. You're needing to let these things go. These things that you know that have held you back from time and time and time again. And you just haven't been ready to let it go. But it's time for you to see things for how they are. It's time for you to quit covering your eyes and not wanting to see things and not making choices. It's time to let things go. And I do feel like for some of you, you could have asked to let this thing go. Whether this be, again, an addiction, a job, a person, a relationship, a parent, an aunt, an uncle, a child. You've wanted to let it go. You've known it's been time to let it go. But you continue to try to be there for this person. Help this person. Try to be that this balancing energy and the, the job, the workplace, the connection. And it's just not working. And you're starting to see that. And you're, you're realizing that you really just need to shift your focus completely and leave your past in the past. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn. All right. I'm going to leave this here. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you soon.